So hey everyone, um, this is the tower that I have built, all in normal, uh, normal difficulty setting, all mined materials, no mods, nothing, single player, it's not available on a server. Um, I'm just going to give you a tour of the tower, it took me a while to build, all of it is built out of stone bricks which have to be uh, put in cobblestone has to be put into a furnace and then smelted until you get stone and then you make stone bricks out of the stone blah 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 you guys probably know anyway so I'm just gonna start heading up to the tower and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it as I walk through so this tower was built from the ground level is probably at 64 and it goes all the way up to 250 Fifty-five. Y equals two hundred and fifty-five. And going to give you a the. Sorry, it's kind of laggy. So here in the front entrance way, we have an all quartz um, entry area with pillars and a full-out dome. It's all lit. It's nighttime. It's spectacular and brilliant. Um, here on the floor, just kind of some decoration with redstone blocks and everything. Uh, out to the left and right, I have just some balconies that you can peek out of and see what's happening. Up here, we stairs is going to start. Go up the grand staircase. And okay, so this is the second floor. I like the view of the dome you can get from here. Um, the center of the dome is glass and it looks all the way up through the center of the tower and out through the top so there's only like two layers of glass between there and the top so um, well I'll just continue going up uh, well actually back here you kinda just got a front window this looks over the front entrance to my cathedral that I'm currently building um, that will be in for another video though so upstairs here I needed to hide the dome somehow so I have just made another room here I kind of made it in an art gallery there's not much to be seen um, just pretty some skylights that go up from the second floor um, I don't like how the stairwell turned out, but it kind of had to be that. So, so here in the back we have a stairwell that goes all the way up to the next level. And this is kind of like the main, like, I don't know what to call it really. <laughs> but uh, there's sort of a balcony out there that you can go and you can, you know, there's my main farming area. I did build this on normal difficulty, so I needed to have farm and sustenance, so I built it just really close to the tower. Um, that, a, that is a pyramid that I built over a giant pit that I got most of the stone from for the tower. Uh, just covers it. There's not much special in there. Um, an important thing to note is down on this side of the tower there's a ravine and the tower was built very close to the edge of the ravine and that comes into play when we go to the basement of the building. So, so back inside Inside here I just have a nice door that goes out to the top of the interior dome that looks down onto the main rotunda. Um, it's pretty awesome to look down. It's really far. You would die if you broke the glass. but It's pretty cool. So I'm going to continue heading upstairs. There's many levels. So this is just sort of another balcony level that we're just on. Art. 
And so this is just kind of a empty room. I didn't really know what to do with it, so I just kind of put some gold armor on there along with a nice fountain. And this fountain is a secret passageway of the next couple of spots, but we will not take it. Um, so up here we have the master suite. I really like how this room turned out. Um, we just got vines and like a 270 degree view all the way around. You can see nice here. Uh, outside you kind of have a balcony here. Really nice. That views out to the cathedral, and that's going to be pretty awesome once that cathedral is finished. Um, which that won't be for another couple months, if not years. Uh, so just double bed. Looks looks into the uh, center of the tower. So that's where that dome, the top of the interior dome is, and then that looks all the way up to the top of the tower. And that's where we're heading. So um, I did change the difficulty for the purposes of the vi this video to uh, uh, peaceful, so we don't have any we don't have any mobs to deal with when we come to or this. So out from here, we're gonna go up, and this will bring you into a nice kind of grand staircase area. This is a really cool part of the tower, but there's a spiral staircase that goes around the center. And then on the outside, we have sort of a skylight all the way throughout there. So we may as well start heading up. And that's a door to the exit of the skylight. Nothing interesting out there. Just lots of ways to die, I suppose. There's windows all the way up. I tried to make it as realistic, if you will, as possible. I lit it really well, but mobs still show up on here. So now we're into sort of the thin spiral staircase. This is like one of the last spiral staircases before we reach a ladder point where we have to climb up to the top of the tower via ladder. Keep the open concept. I made a glass platform here, so we'll reach from all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom. Uh, you can really only see the sun during high noon at the very base of the tower. Uh, right now, it's about midnight. It looks like to my clock. We're just gonna climb all the way up to the top. See what's happening. So the top is very colorful, you can't really tell from ground because <laughs> it's so high. Uh, so let's just close up that trapdoor so I don't fall down. Um, so this is the top of the tower. This looks straight down into pretty much the rotunda. Uh, falls very, very far. <laughs> uh, and then that's the top of the Minecraft. So that's this right here is block two y equals two fifty five I believe so there's no way to actually get to the very top but it's just for aesthetic purposes um these gold blocks will eventually be higher too I just need to find gold and then redstone pillars and that's to partially power that but, uh, you can't see any of this from ground level so it doesn't really matter so I will go to the edge so you can see down. Um, that's that's the main entrance right there, right there. And then that's that little round thing that we walked past. And then the cathedral, which is very prominently lit because it's one of the higher structures. Um, so I'm going to... I will be right back, and I will be at the base of the tower, so. 
Okay, I'm back. Um, now I'm at the base of the tower, back in the rotunda. Um, it's pretty awesome. So now I'm going to give you the tour of the basement. Now, part of the what makes this tower so awesome is that it spawns from it spans from y equals zero all the way up to y equals 255. The entire height of the Minecraft realm, um, which is pretty awesome. Um, so I will give you a tour of the downstairs. It shouldn't be as long as the upstairs tour because the upstairs has a lot more rooms than the downstairs. So uh, so right now, we're just in the rotunda level. Now we're gonna go through the uh, servants' entrances. So here we have automatic doors that open and close, and then we will go down to the servants' quarters or living area. So. Uh, down the stairs I have an armory. This contains all the armor, all the weapons, whatnot. The only way to get in is to shoot that button and run through the door in a, a lot of time. Uh, storage, storage room is just for under the stairs spaces. Now in we have our nice fireplace. So this is the, the rotunda and then down here is just a massive where I suppose the servants would be. Um, so now I'm just going to go upstairs and show you just like in here we have the living space, so the bedroom, all the beds for the servants. Uh, through there they have direct access. We will, I will show you, well, I'll go through there. So up here we have the kitchen in here, and then ladder. Have more pantry space through here. The kitchen where all the food prep happens and furnaces. I needed a lot of furnaces to make all that stone brick, but for food, <laughs> they're food. So um, in here we have a water well and a waste disposal to dispose of things, and then we have a mushroom farm through. Here. Through here, this is the front of the tower. Um, this is beneath the main staircase up to the front entrance of the tower. And we have all types of mushrooms. We have the red mushrooms, we have the brown mushrooms, and we have the nether wart, which is pretty awesome to have. I don't use mushrooms, and mobs usually spawn heavily <laughs> in that spot. Um, so now we're back in the in the main like gathering place that's where the kitchen was in through here we have a brewery which we have realm surrounded by lame biomes but i did choose large biomes so it's kind of hard to find certain things um i have my brewing stand and all that stuff a bar that opens and closes it's pretty cool and then over here we have a blacksmith shop which is really cool to have when you want to repair Repair your equipment. Up here we have beams, uh, the aesthetic purposes of the beams. However, the beams actually serve a purpose because this door you can either exit out to my farm and gather stuff, or you, you can come up here and you can hop across the beams. Now, hopping across the beams is quite difficult. Uh, it is possible, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. And this redstone goes to a button on the outside that you have to shoot with an arrow in order to open that to get to. Um, I'm just gonna jump down. I'm not that for you now. Okay, so drowning trap. I was planning on building a drowning trap with pistons that move bar from to splash people in there, but uh, I haven't had enough luck finding uh, slimes to make sticky pistons. So. kitchen entrance. Down here we enter the first sub-level. Uh, the sub-level thing it just has more rooms, empty rooms that can either be bedrooms or whatnot. If I ever make river, people can have their own bedrooms. Um, in there that would be a storage room. In through here we have a jail and above the jail that's where the drowning trap is so if you manage out of the drowning trap you would just fall into a jail. 
more misses. Uh, resident chicken. More rooms, just storage rooms and stuff. And down here is where the problem is room. It's just a low, low ceiling, kind of awesome, just like reading nook area down here. Just grab a book and read. Um, and crap, another chicken. <laughs> and then this looks down to more than this where we're heading now so not much use but it looks so down this staircase we enter sort of the downstairs of the downstairs of the tower now this does not go all the way down to zero but I have another level below that so uh, remember how I told you to note the uh, the ravine, well, that window looks out to the ravine, and that is the bottom of the ravine where the window ends. So it extends quite a ways past the ravine. So we're going to head down. I have an exterior door that will eventually lead to a spiral staircase around the tower that ends in the ravine. So you'll have to go up to get to the ravine. I haven't made it yet. Oh, wait. Uh, I think I did. I'm not going to show it to you, though. That's, that's just boring. So down here, we just kind of have a nice garden with a tree. Uh, that will be, eventually be a chandelier. We just need to gather enough materials to do that. Now down through here, we have the final level, which this is... This ends on where the most diamonds are prominently found, which... According to the, according to the Minecraft wiki, it's around like or something. So, I started digging here, and then I'll work my way down to find more diamonds. Um, all of this down here is pure bedrock. There is absolutely no mineral in there that's not bedrock, because I mined it all. Uh, and then I just have sort of these pillars reaching down. This is just a giant half sphere that holds all dirt from above so I can landscape that however I want and then whenever I hit stone I know that I've reached the edge of that so this goes all the way around um, two staircases on either side in case of mobs uh, and then these will be mines that will extend however far I need them to um, so yeah I'm gonna head back upstairs I hope you guys liked it. Um, it took many to build this. Uh, it took a lot of lava and coal and whatnot to make all of the stone brick. And I went through a lot of picks. And out of the entire process of digging this entire tower, I think I only found about 15 diamonds. It was very much a disappointment. Especially when I needed to be able to build <laughs> or dig all of that. I really needed diamonds, but I couldn't find it, find any. So I will head back out. Thanks for watching. Um, I know it was ended, but I hope you enjoyed the tower. One last look at the dome. I walk outside and I will take a view at the cathedral. So, thanks, guys.